Shalom friends, Jeremy Gimpel here from the Arugod Farm. I want to tell you the stories that have unfolded this week in the land of Israel and outside the land of Israel and go a little bit beyond the headlines. I want to go deeper. I want to expose the true spiritual war that's at play here in the land of Israel. Earlier this week, the Israeli army went on a secret operation into Gaza in order to rescue Gazan orphans and bring them out of the war zone in order to protect them. At the same time, there were protests all over the United States, particularly this week in the New York, New Jersey area in the religious Jewish communities. And at these protests, they found posters that were hung up. One that said, by any means necessary, rape is resistance. Another poster that said, by any means necessary, babies are occupiers. And what these posters are actually exclaiming is, by any means necessary, we can do whatever we want. We want to kill the Jews. We want to rape the women. We want to kill babies. There is no good. There is no evil. There is no truth. There is no God. By any means necessary, we're going to do whatever we need to do to kill Jews. And at the same time, you can't make this stuff up. The Jewish people, the leadership of the IDF, decided to go into a war zone, risk our own soldiers in order to save Gazan orphans and bring them out of a war zone. Now, I'm not even saying that that's a good idea because most likely those Gazan orphans are going to grow up when they're 17, 18, 19, be fueled with anger and revenge, not appreciate the fact that the Jews saved them, and probably commit jihad against the Jews. But the principle is there. The intention is there. The leadership of the IDF are fueled by biblical values of being kind to the orphan. And at the same time, there's like a mirror to Israel, the mirror of the good, the opposite of the good that are saying, kill the babies, rape the women, by any means necessary. So when you realize that this war in Israel, it's not like between two sides that are sort of equal. Well, what do you think, Russia or Ukraine? Is this an Afghanistan thing or a Pakistan thing? No, this is a war between the God of Israel and the God of Amalek. It's a spiritual war between good and evil. And the center stage, the theater that this is all unfolding on is the land of Israel. So realize when we're watching these headlines, always go behind the headlines, deeper down, to realize this is a war of ideas. This is a spiritual battle. And in the war of the spirit, it's guaranteed. The Jewish people in the land of Israel, backed by the God of Israel, we will always win.